Let's learn irregular verbs with McDonald's. In this lesson, we'll start by doing a listen and read exercise. Then we'll do a review of the 10 irregular verbs you heard in the story. In part three, we'll do an exercise. You'll need to fill in the blank with the correct past tense form of the verb. Last but not least, we'll listen again. This will be helpful for retention of new vocab. Without further ado, let's begin the story. The story of McDonald's is a tale of American entrepreneurship and the evolution of fast food culture. It all began in 1940 when brothers Richard and Maurice McDonald opened a barbecue restaurant in San Bernardino, California. Initially, their restaurant was called McDonald's Barbecue, and the service wasn't very fast. However, in 1948, the brothers made a pivotal decision that would change the course of fast food history. They restructured their restaurant to focus on a limited menu of nine items, including their famous hamburgers, cheeseburgers, fries, and milkshakes. They also introduced an assembly line, which sped up food preparation and reduced wait times for customers who ordered, ate, and left in record time. In 1954, the McDonald brothers ordered eight milkshake machines from a salesman named Ray Kroc. Surprised by the large order, Kroc visited the innovative restaurant and saw the potential to franchise the concept on a massive scale. He convinced the brothers, and together, they bought the first franchised McDonald's restaurant in Illinois in 1955. Kroc was a businessman, and eventually he took control of the company. Under his leadership, McDonald's changed their logo to the now famous Big Golden Arches, popularized drive throughs in the U.S., and introduced the world to Big Macs and Happy Meals. Oddly, Ray Kroc, and not the McDonald's brothers, is why McDonald's rapidly rose to success across the United States and eventually grew around the globe. Today, there are more than 36,000 restaurants in more than 100 countries. Do you think McDonald's will remain a cultural icon of the U.S. in the future? So what were the 10 irregular verbs? Did you catch them? Let's go through them one by one. Number one, to begin in the past is began. It all began in 1940 when brothers Richard and Maurice McDonald opened a barbecue restaurant in San Bernardino, California. The meeting began promptly at 9 a.m. She began a new fitness routine to improve her health. The second one was to make. To make in the past tense is made. In 1948, the brothers made a pivotal decision that would change the course of fast food history. She used fresh ingredients and made a delicious cake for her party. His inspiring speech made a significant impact on the audience. Number three, to speed up. To speed up in the past is sped up. They also introduced an assembly line, which sped up food preparation and reduced wait times for customers. The runner sped up during the final lap of the race. The company sped up the production process by implementing new technology. Then we had to eat. To eat in the past is eight. They also introduced an assembly line which sped up food preparation and reduced wait times for customers who ordered, ate, and left in record time. We ate dinner at the new Italian restaurant downtown. I ate 
eggs, and toast for breakfast. Number five, to leave. To leave in the past is left. Once again, we have this sentence about speeding up food preparation, right? So they created the assembly line, which sped up food preparation and reduced wait times for customers who ordered, ate, and left in record time. They left the party early because they were tired. She left the office at 6 p.m. to avoid rush hour traffic. Number six, to see in the past is saw. Surprised by the large order, Croc visited the innovative restaurant and saw the potential to franchise the concept on a massive scale. Last weekend, we saw the new Ryan Gosling movie. It was great. From the top of the hill, we saw the entire city below us. Number seven, to buy in the past is bought. He convinced the brothers, and together they bought the first franchised McDonald's restaurant in Illinois in 1955. In a rush, the mother bought frozen lasagna for dinner. He bought a new car with his savings. Number eight, to rise in the past is Rose. Oddly, Ray Kroc and not the McDonald's brothers is why McDonald's rapidly rose to success across the United States. The sun rose at 6 a.m. in the morning. The balloon rose into the sky until it was out of sight. Number nine, to grow in the past is grew. Oddly, Ray Kroc and not the McDonald's brothers is why McDonald's rapidly rose to success across the United States and eventually grew around the globe. She grew carrots and zucchini in her garden. The children ate nutritious food and grew up strong. Number 10. To take in the past is took. Kroc was a businessman, and eventually he took control of the company. She took her medicine twice a day. He took a different route to avoid traffic. It's quiz time. Fill in the blank with the correct past tense form. Are you ready? Number one. The wedding, mm, promptly at 4 p.m. What's the past tense of to begin? Began. The wedding began promptly at 4 p.m. Number two. She mm, a delicious strawberry cake for the party. What's the past tense of to make? Made. She made a delicious strawberry cake for the party. Number three. The driver mm, through the intersection despite the red light. What's the past tense of to speed? Sped. The driver sped through the intersection despite the red light. Number four. Jeff mm, an entire bacon cheeseburger by himself. What's the past tense of to eat? Eight. Jeff ate an entire bacon cheeseburger by himself. Number five. The girl mm, the restaurant feeling sick to her stomach. What's the past tense of to leave? Left. The girl left the restaurant feeling sick to her stomach. Number six. When we visited Paris, we, mm, the Eiffel Tower light up beautifully at night. What's the past tense of to see? Saw. When we visited Paris, we saw the Eiffel Tower light up beautifully at night. 
Number seven. During the sale, she mm, a new dress and a pair of shoes at a discounted price. What's the past tense of to buy? Bought. During the sale, she bought a new dress and a pair of shoes at a discounted price. Number eight. The sun mm, early in the morning, signaling the start of a new day. What's the past tense of to rise? Rose. The sun rose early in the morning, signaling the start of a new day. Number nine. Betty mm, up in a small town surrounded by lush green fields. What's the past tense of to grow? Grew. Betty grew up in a small town surrounded by lush green fields. Number 10. The man, mm, a nap in the sun. What's the past tense of to take? Took. The man took a nap in the sun. Let's hear the story one last time. The story of McDonald's is a tale of American entrepreneurship and the evolution of fast food culture. It all began in 1940 when brothers Richard and Maurice McDonald opened a barbecue restaurant in San Bernardino, California. Initially, their restaurant was called McDonald's Barbecue, and the service wasn't very fast. However, in 1948, the brothers made a pivotal decision that would change the course of fast food history. They restructured their restaurant to focus on a limited menu of nine items, including their famous hamburgers, cheeseburgers, fries, and milkshakes. They also introduced an assembly line, which sped up food preparation and reduced wait times for customers who ordered, ate, and left in record time. In 1954, the McDonald brothers ordered eight milkshake machines from a salesman named Ray Kroc. Surprised by the large order, Kroc visited the innovative restaurant and saw the potential to franchise the concept on a massive scale. He convinced the brothers, and together, they bought the first franchised McDonald's restaurant in Illinois in 1955. Kroc was a businessman, and eventually he took control of the company. Under his leadership, McDonald's changed their logo to the now famous Big Golden Arches, popularized drive throughs in the U.S., and introduced the world to Big Macs and Happy Meals. Oddly, Ray Kroc, and not the McDonald's brothers, is why McDonald's rapidly rose to success across the United States and eventually grew around the globe. Today, there are more than 36,000 restaurants in more than 100 countries. Do you think McDonald's will remain a cultural icon of the U.S. in the future?